I bought this LED torch off AliExpress some years ago now. I don't remember exactly how long ago or how much it was, but the inspiration for doing this video was seeing a video by Big Clive where he pulled apart something quite similar, or at least I thought it was quite similar, and um, found a number of problems with it. I guess there were two main problems he pointed out. The first one was that uh, there was no proper heat sinking of the LEDs in his uh, version of this. And the second thing was that there was no current limitation. Um, and I was quite intrigued because I've been using this for quite some time and it's been good really. So um, I was intrigued to see whether mine had the same issues and they just hadn't blown up in my face yet or, or, or what. Um, on looking at it, um, there's an interesting similarity and difference between this and, and the torch that Big Clive pulls apart. His has um, three, what would you call them? Well, three LEDs in three different lenses um, in, a, in a triplet sort of a formation. So it's quite different in that respect. But quite obviously this handle is precisely the same as in Clive's and I think this barrel might be as well. So clearly there's something going on in China with these where somebody is churning out parts and then they're getting put together in various ways. Um, anyway, even given the differences, I thought it'd be interesting to pull this apart and, and, and just compare it to Big Clive's one. Um, I won't pull it apart completely or do the full electrical or electronic analysis like Clive does. Um, but I thought I'd just go over the basics. Um, so the first thing that you notice by way of difference between this and Clive's one is that the barrel has aluminium machined uh, spaces for three 18650 cells where Clive's has a sort of a holder that goes in to hold them. Um, on this end it has um, three springs for the for the uh, negative ends of the batteries which all go in in parallel. So this doesn't have the problem that was in Clive's where he found that the 18650s, particularly ones without protection on the end, were really a bit too short and di didn't fit in firmly. Um, so that's that part of it. So when you take the barrel off underneath here, you can see this is the uh, contact for the positive side of the uh, 18650 batteries and that just pops out. I've already had that out, which is why it's so loose. It looks like it turns, but it doesn't actually. You just, just pop it out. And um, underneath there, you can see, well, firstly, you can see the uh, circuit board here, which is just built into this wafer. And it has current limiting uh, resistors here, so it's not like Clive's one. It does have proper current limiting. And then if you look down in there, it's hard because it keeps shining because of the shiny aluminium, but you can see the back of a lily, uh, not a, sorry, a star style LED here. And the points of that star, the aluminium backing on the star, uh, touch the aluminium housing all around. And so there is quite good coupling down in there. It should have far better heat sinking than Clive's version. Although they only touch at the points of the star. It's very hard for you to see that because it's down in there. But yeah, you can possibly see that it only touches the housing at the points of the star. It would have been better if they had an aluminium plate backing onto that and the plate touching all around. But anyway, it's still not too bad, I don't think. Um, now, just putting that back. Now on the other side, uh, the front end, the business end, we've got a, a lens there. I've done the teeth test on that. It's plastic, but it does a good job really. Um, of uh, focusing the beam and it is zoomable and it zooms really well um, quite smooth and this locking ring comes off as you would expect and it's interesting talking about the way that there's clearly a number of different versions of this made with interchangeable parts you take this off and you take this off what you'll see is that this has clearly been made with an original size of thread on here which doesn't match the thread of the locking ring and so they've put an adapter that just screws onto that and adapts between the two different thread sizes so there's clearly some uh, some adaptation going on now down here in underneath um, this is really hard because i keep getting reflections off the light and it's shining straight back into the camera because this backing is is sort of machine and it's the little ridges on the machining mean that it shines at almost any angle anyway I'll try to get it so it doesn't shine too much. Um, 
you'll see down in here there's a there's a locking ring which just turns out i've had that out already which is why it's so loose you take that off and ooh, it's so shiny underneath there you can see there's a white cover and underneath that cover is just a standard star style led and that as i mentioned before couples onto a little ridge down there so it is getting reasonably good heat sinking and that's really about all there is to it Clive's version had a uh, charging port and this has the rubber cover for a charging port but actually it's just empty because i got the version that didn't have charging the same aliexpress website that i bought this from also had these with the charging capability but i didn't bother because i prefer charging my 18650s using a proper charger um, outside of appliances where i can control balancing and uh, make sure they're charged well so I, I didn't bother getting it but clearly you could very easily adapt this um, by putting um, uh, a cable into here and there's tons of room inside here you could put in uh, a protection circuit and so on so you could very quickly adapt this so that it uh, did have the charging capability but I don't like doing that because you're not going to get any balancing all of these are in parallel uh, I'd rather charge the 18650s outside anyway there you go um, uh, the message overall, I think, from this video is you can buy these torches with the really nice machining and the nice handle um, and the nice zoom capability and all of that. They're really powerful um, and uh, I, it wasn't expensive, but there are, so it would appear, pretty substantial differences between them. They're not all the same by any means. Uh, Clive's had three LEDs. This only had one. Clive's had virtually no heat sinking. This seems to have quite good heat sinking. Clive's had no um, current limitation. This has quite good current limit. Well, it has current limitation. So, um, yeah, worth getting, but just check which one you're getting. I'd definitely suggest that if you've got the option, get something that looks much more like this one of mine than the one that Clive had.